So problem number 12, determine the value of R if the power dissipated in 10 ohm resistance is 40 watt for the circuit shown in 1.21. This is the figure 1.21. So they have, they are telling to find the value of R uh, where the power across the 10 ohm resistance is 40 watt. So we know the formula of power P is equal to I square R. So using this, we can calculate the value of I as we know R. So I square is equal to P by R. They have given power that is 40 and we know R value that is 10. We will get 4. So by sending the square that side, the I value will become 2 amp. So we got the current that is 2 amp. So let us find the voltage across this resistance. Let us call V1 and let us call this voltage as V2. So as we know the supply voltage is 50. So let us calculate V1 is equal to 2 into 10 that is 20 volts. So we got the value of 20 volts. So the supply voltage is nothing but V is equal to V1 plus V2. We know V1 is 20 and we need to find out V2. So therefore V2 is equal to 30 volts. So if, uh, if resistance are resistance are in parallel then the voltage across each resistance will be equal. Therefore the voltage across R will be 30, the voltage across 40 ohms will be 30, the voltage across 80 ohms will be 30. So by this we can easily find out the value of I1, I2 and I3. We know the starting formula is nothing but I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. So we need to find I1 is equal to V divided by R1 that is 30 divided by 80. So we got I1 value that is 0.375 amps. Let us find out I2 in the same way uh, 30 divided by 40. So we got the value of that is I2 0.75 amps. Now let us calculate I3. I3 is nothing but I minus I, I1 plus I2. So I1 is 2 and uh, this total is 0.375 plus 0.75. So calculating this we get I3 is equal to 0.875 amps. Using this, we can calculate the value of R that is 30 divided by 0.875, nothing but 34.3 ohms. This is what it has given.